Pintadan. Um, is it rec- what's up, guys? My name is uh, Tintachi6, aka Carlos. I'm your host for today's video, along with my co host Austin, aka Sirden. Say hello, buddy. Hello. And so today we are going to be doing a tips and tricks video on the inventory and skills and what to level up in Bloodborne after the resounding feedback we got from our last video. I think we're up to like, uh, I think about like 2,000 views or so. Pretty awesome for a small channel like us. Uh, We thought of, you know, coming back, giving you some more tips and tricks because, you know, we want to help people like you trying to make the best out of this game. So, um... Off the rip, you're probably going to understand that there's certain items in this game that you may not understand what in the world's, you know, what it is, what what serves as a purpose to them, all the other stuff. So really, you want to make your way to the inventory so we can talk about what you... Wait, hold on. So the, the inventory, so that we can we can really dissect what you need, what you don't need, what each of these do, and we'll have Austin, you know, ask the dumb questions because he doesn't know this game at all. So, Austin, what do you, what do you think about the consumables, huh? Like, what what do you think we should focus on first? Um, well, I don't know much, but consumables seems like a good idea. Isn't that like a way to like, just from judging the the terminology, it's a way to like increase health or stamina or maybe uh, attack power, or something like that, right? I'm wrong. You're actually going to be using these to send out mail. Good job. You tried? Look, hey, you don't know the game. You tried. And that you what think about it this way. Why is there a mail envelope on the little little consumable box that we have here, huh? It's for mail. All right? Part of these Okay. Look, look. Part of these you can consume. Like this poison knife, you can technically because you've ever seen those ladies that do the uh um, America's Got Talent, they, they do this type of stuff. You can consume this in this game because they want to hold true to real life sometimes. Um, even though it's poison? Even though it's poison. Your body, especially in this game, can have resistance towards poison. Like That's why you'll never see that you can get poison in this game. But like if you do it correctly, you can ingest it and technically spit it out to other people. That's why this is consumable in a way, because you can be like a, like a real-life viper with poison. Does that make sense? Okay, and the the beast blood pellet that that's some sort of like capsule that you eat, right? From being a pellet, you eat. When was the last time you ate a pellet? Uh, just I don't know. See, I want you to understand the the questions you're asking. Like a a beast blood pellet. Let's think about it. A beast blood pellet is something you put. Wait for it in the mail. Look, we got antidotes, aka you know the good stuff. In the mail. We got the pellets. In the mail. Molotov cocktail. You can literally send that in the mail in this game, all right, so that we don't get it twisted. Oh, yeah, that goes with the Molotov. In the mail, all right? So, I mean... Oh, how, how does it go with the Molotov? Do you, like... A Molotov is like a fire item, right? Yeah. Because in, in real life, you set off the clock, right, and throw it, and it explodes and causes fire. So, with the oil, like... Put, you put oil on something and then spread fire and it would make more damage? No. Okay. Again, I mean, we, we're trying here. You're doing the best you can. So after you've already sent this off to the mail, you know, you, you, you're going to put that in a, in a box or essentially a, a mail envelope. I think it'll fit in there. You put it in. Um, you don't light it because you want to make sure that that gets to where it's got to be. The oil is supposed to be going into the vehicle that you were using to drive that off. To put that in the mail, all right? That's that's the only reason for this. I mean, it literally has this thing. In this game? Yes, there are vehicles, but that's later in the game. We're at the beginning, so I won't be able to show that to you. But real Bloodborne players will understand that there are vehicles in this. It's just uh, like one of those like later things, like after you've been able to beat this uh, this one guy, um, you can use vehicles, and that's what this is for. And but you're already getting them now, so you can essentially just stock up on a lot of them because a lot of these vehicles use, you know, oil and stuff like that. <laughs> Okay. What about the pebbles? It just says uh, it has a description actually underneath it. It says uh, lone pebbles can be thrown at target. So I'm assuming like you throw a pebble to get the attention of something or maybe distract it. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, actually, that that one I can't refute. That that's literally the only point of a pebble in this game. I don't I don't even know why. Like, it says you can throw it at enemies, but everybody knows you throw pebbles at the floor so that they can hear the floor, not it being boinked off of another enemy. Like, that That doesn't even make sense. But yes, 
you can throw it at targets, preferably at the ground so that they, get, they can hear it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, and I know. Let's let's go through some others, right? We got we went through the 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 drugs, the 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 beast blood planets. Which what are we supposed to do with them? Mail them. Mail them exactly. We're gonna mail these, these, these. Put that in the vehicles you're gonna use later in the game, and just these so you can be a human viper. This to throw at the ground, not at the person, even though it says you can throw it at the person. Dumb. And there's gonna be let's see, fire paper. Um, we know that you know every magician has something up their sleeve. Um, this is one of the things you use to distract them. So it's one of those uh, those things that you kind of like pull out. It instantly bursts up. The enemy gets confused, and you can just wail on them after that. Honestly, it says uh, that you apply it to your weapon. Yeah, your weapon being your hands. Come on now. You if if there's anything that we've been given on this earth is our two hands, and those can be used as weapons. So yes, it can technically be applied to your weapon being your hand. So you're correct. There's a consumable zone. What'd you say to me? Early consumables. Is there another section, or is there only consumables? Well, we're not done through the consumables now, are we? You and you know what? Fine. All right. Fine. We're gonna go to materials. All right, because apparently we need to know what to do with materials. Um, in this game, you have the ability to either find or already have weapons. I mean, really, we can essentially call that the hands. Um, that you can help make stronger or just, I guess, bless them with some, some eyeball. Uh, you don't really want to do that. That's really dumb. But you could essentially just just build them up make them stronger. That's about it. There's not much there. Question's cool. Uh, now there's keys. As we see in this game, there's going to be a lot of doors. And obviously for every door, there's a key. Um, you're going to be running around trying to find... Uh, different type of things to unlock doors, right? So we got the the tomb key, this workshop tool that technically turns into a key, uh, this badge that's a key, yes, key, key, bell. Oh, this is very important right here, right? Now this bell helps you call in dogs. Now what these dogs do, they they, they, they pretty much just help you out. They, they'll call out where an enemy is, they'll attack them, they'll do all the other stuff. Um, there is a way to play with people in this game, like co-op. I haven't found that yet. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm the one teaching you these things. But um, if you really want to, you know, understand that you can have help by, you know, using dogs, this is the best way to do it. And I would I definitely highlight items, this. I thought all the items and key items were keys. Yeah, you literally just said it. They're keys. But, 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 you know, sometimes there are typos right and this bell is just thrown in there because it's a typo so let's just that was a mistranslation a okay. mistranslation exactly this game was developed and uh you know thought of conceived in a way in ireland so you know sometimes the the, the languages don't cross over too well so they speak english um they speak irish uh so it's not english it's irish you know that's that's not being sensitive all right come on i'm now. sorry yeah it's okay uh, but yeah, there's a bell, another key that but looks like a hat, and then there's a festival urn, looks like a key, is actually a key, but it's a, it's a key, you know, whatever the hell. Um, right hand weapon, besides your hand, is going to be an axe that's pretty straightforward. And the left, there's, there's different things you could do. Um, Hunter's torch and a torch is for you to be able to see, obviously. Shield, you shield. Blunderbuss, I believe that's the type of bus you can call in. Randomly, again, going back to the, the, the vehicles you can be using, that's going to be later in the game. I have equipped now. Just in case I want to, I feel like I can, but I can't do it. So that's why. Why is Black Spell with two S's? Yeah, because it's a game. You can be creative. Come on now. Uh, you're right. Yeah, see, there we go. Um, clothing, that's pretty self explanatory. There's not much to be here. I would definitely highlight the Hunter Gloves. Uh, probably the best in the game. I got them off rip. Uh, you see the. The, the stats are incredible, better than any of the other gloves that I have here. Um, definitely would put emphasis on trying to find these somewhere and equip them as soon as you get them. Uh, what, what do the stats mean? The stats? Yeah, the stats. Okay, so physically deaf. Okay, we can go one by one. It's totally fine. We got time. Physically, physical? Yeah, physical deaf. That means you are able to say most definitely to a person. Um, pretty much... How much blunt and how much thrust you put into saying that towards an enemy can affect them in different ways. 
Um, and then blood Frost death. Death. What? 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 Uh, what's the difference between blood and frost death in regards to the enemy? Blunt means you say it really quickly, and thrust means you put more oomph into it. Oh, okay. I read in the manual that, that like, did we not oh. speak about the? Ma you know what? I'm not gonna raise my tone. Look, we've talked about that guy named Manual. He's not coming back. All right, leave him, leave him, leave him behind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Blood death. Same thing as the physical death, but it's blood. Um, arcane fire and bolt. Those like red or something. They're not. It's blood. So it's like crimson. You know, it's a, it's a little bit of a darker tinge. It's blood. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, arcane, um, it's the ability to be able to, uh, what was it called? Call in that, that, get, I think it was like a Pokemon called Articuno. Um, you have a 50% chance at it. Um, whenever you do get that roll, it's pretty good. Um, so the higher this, the, the higher this arcane level is, um, the more of a chance you can uh, call in Articuno. I know it's, it's technically like Pokemon and Bloodborne, but it's essentially the same thing. Um, Fire and Bolt. This this game is connected to Pokemon. Yeah, but that's for a whole another video, man. We got to stay on topic here. We got to learn about the inventories, all right? We got to understand this before we go into the the different crossplay that we have with different companies in this game. Capiche, capiche. Fire and Bolt. Uh, fire is obviously fire. Like you can fire somebody um, in both ways, and bolting is how quick you can be on your feet, so you can bolt really fast. Um, slow poison, these things we don't care. Frenzy, what the hell's that? Um, and fre breast, no, no, no. Be beasthood, beast, yeah, that's not that's not really a thing. Um, goosh, yeah, self explanatory. So, we're gonna go to the jimmies, all these jimmies. Uh, oh, do they like do you attach them to weapons or something for like, I don't know, uh, an increase in attack or maybe like an increase in rally percentage, something like that. Um, probably, but then that's not important because your hands are really powerful. Uh, Car oh, okay. Carol ruins, um, runes. Yeah, these don't really seem that important. And oh, they, they look like they say something on the side, though. On what? On what side? Like that one says you can hold up to one more vial. You're saying a lot of things that don't make sense right now, so we're gonna act like you said something important and move on. All right. Uh, and then we're going to go to yeah. Chalice. Um, obviously, you need cups to drink water in this game. This is the way you use it. I only have one because you only need one. Um, and that's it. Uh, again, you want to... What wanna... about the stats on the right, though? What stats? What stats? The one that say level. Oh, oh. Inside. You're absolutely right. I completely forgot. We were talking about inventory. It is now stat time. All you really want to know here is that Every time you kill somebody, you technically get these things called um, poison IV pills. Now, what you do with these poison IV pills is that you ingest them. Um, obviously, you scratch yourself. That creates blood. And then the more blood you produce, the more you have the ability to get different skills. Um, I have heard that there's different builds, per se, in this game. Um, you can be a skill build. You can be a strength build. Um, they're, they're pretty much just being smart butts because they're, they're trying to just use the stat name and then put build behind it we're not going to confuse that today all you really have to worry about is building up that strength that's why you see it's so high it's probably one of the highest in this game that you've seen so far um and you also want to really focus on i mean i was going to say arcane because i wanted to arcuna but that i i can't say that i mean i guess vitality you want to be able to live a little bit longer everything else doesn't really matter what does endurance do endurance uh that's a little dirty so you can you don't really have to worry about endurance, honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about bluntage? Honestly, that that sounds pretty uh, pretty racist. So we're not gonna go down that round either. Wait, what does beasthood mean? Beasthood, um, like I said before, beasthood is the ability to call in a companion that looks like a beast, but is also able to uh, wear a hood. Um, the the stronger the hood. The stronger the, the 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 beast, and the stronger they're able to you know defeat enemies and all that. But it has to be like one of those like red riding hoods, like you know, and uh, and and one of them stories. You know, what I'm talking about. I'm actually reading something right here that says that a, a good starting class is something called a quality build. Wow! Look, 
What did I say? It's I guess it's something like a mix of strength and skill, and so you can use a number of weapons without really having problems. I guess I'm I'm not sure. It looks like it makes a lot of sense though. Quality build is for the people that don't know how to use a weapon. So yes. You can build a quality build because you want to be able to learn how to use different weapons. But if those weapons are your hands, it's null and void. There's no reason for you to be focusing on that when you just need strength. You need to be able to focus on how hard you can pick or how hard you can hit people. Not, oh, I want to be able to pick up a weapon and learn how to... If it's a knife, you're going to know how to use a knife. And if it's a sword, you're going to use a sword. Okay? It's pretty simple stuff. I don't know where you read that. That, that it's something just called like the bloodborne wiki i don't know that that doesn't even sound real if it has wiki behind it just assume it's fake okay okay great so now that we've understood the different type of builds uh that don't really matter and you only want to focus on strength and vitality you have learned everything you need to know at this point to to really master this game again you want to know that some of these are for mailing purposes some of these are for random things that others is just they don't really matter to you, and again, you want to focus on this old hunter belt. It lets you call in your dogs. That really helps in later parts of this game. Um, and the hunter gloves, right? And the hunter gloves. Thank you so much. Again, I was lucky to have that off rip, and I'm very happy to have them, but you want to be on the lookout if you don't have these already. And it looks like that's it. Did I miss anything, Austin? Um, no, I, I don't know. Awesome. Great, because you, you really don't know. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. If we can get another 1,000 likes on this lovely video, I would definitely appreciate it. Um, let us know if you want another tips and tricks on this game. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure I'm helping a lot of people have a, a easy, easy transition to this game because the way they've learned and adhered to my tips, uh, it's been pretty well, and I've, I've, ha I've had really resounding... Um, comments about it so let me know in the comment section down below if it's been